this video we will see how we can um, color the symbols of a vector layer according to the data that are stored with the vector layer. And we will work again with our um, layer of points that represents different places where you can eat and drink in Bern. Um, we will later come eventually to an actual archaeological layer, but for the current demonstration we stick to this one. So I have here this going out in Bern layer and currently all the points are green and we would like to differentiate them according to what kind of site it is. You could also imagine that you're working with archaeological uh, data and you probably would like to differentiate according to what kind of time period they're representing. And this should be reflected by different symbols or also different uh, colors of the symbols. To achieve that, we have again to go to the symbology. So I right click on my layer, select properties, and here under symbology, if currently it's highlighted single symbol, so we have a single symbol for all the different kinds of data. To change that, I can click up here where it currently says single symbol, and here I have now different options. There is categorized, that's what we are, will work with um, to differentiate between different categories of data. Um, there's also um, graduated, I think it's in English, where you can visualize different values. For example, if you have um, different archaeological sites and let's say settlements and they have different uh, sizes, you could visualize the sizes by using different colors ranging from a color spectrum in this example here. It is from red to um, yellow, but you could also use different uh, color ramps for that. And there are other options that we will come to uh, later. But currently we just want to visualize different categories, so we select categorized. And now if you click that, there's not so much happening at the moment. The reason is you have at first to choose which kind of value from the attribute table um, rep will represent the categories that you would like to differentiate. So I click here and in our case I select this amenity um, where the information is stored if it's a bar, a cafe or a restaurant. If I click that, still not so much happened here. And the reason for that is that we have now to define different classes of values. To do so, I click here on classify. And now we can see that um, automatically from the random colors that currently represents our um, color ramp, different values, different colors are attributed to different values in the attribute table. And we have also here something legend where you can Diff, um, change the values that will be visible in the legend. So let's start with that first. I double click on one of these um, legend items and I make this a capital B for bar and the same here for cafe and here for restaurant. You can see you can write in here arbitrary values, arbitrary um, values for the legend that then reflect or show the values that are actually stored in the um, attribute table without changing the attri actual attributes. Okay, um, we have also here another value, everything else. This is the case, for example, if you have some um, NA values where you don't have any value stored um, in the column you selected here. So if there's nothing in there, it would be colored blue. I can now click on apply and in the background you can see that all the different points now gets different colors according to what kind of point um, it is. I can click on OK and now have a look at the different points. For example, here I spot a blue no, it's not a blue point, it's a um, point that says restaurant. Or I can go to one of these uh, red ones and that is a cafe. 
and also I can click on one of these um, brown ones. Oh, sorry, the brown one is actually a different layer. That's the bicycle rent layer. So you can't select them and also their color, its color is not changed. We have also this um, here, that's the bar. That's the um, purple one. Okay, so now you can see that we have different values here for our different colors for our different object types. And we don't have any value that represents NA. So everything is either green, red, or purple. I said you can also change the look and feel of the different symbols. So I can double click on the symbol here and now I can select a different color for that symbol. To change generally the color selection, you could also click here on the um, gradient um, bar and select different gradients. And you have also here the option to see all available gradients. So here are more values possible. Uh, just for, for demonstration, I click on this um, uh, gradient, click on apply. You can see now that the different values here have changed their colors. Okay, let's get back to random and apply. And what you can also do is to change the actual symbol. So for example, down here, I have a selection of different symbols. Um, I select, for example, the diamond here for the bar and I select the uh, triangle for the cafe or I select um, this, let's say this yellow dot for the restaurant. I click on apply and now you can see here in the background these um, different symbols have changed. Okay, with that you can get a map where your different uh, values in the attribute table are, is rep are represented by different symbols and different colors. And with that you can inspect the visually the values in the attribute table.